Welcome to the Horizon. It has an elevator inside and I'm super excited to show it to you. Now this home is by HBS. It is shown here at Carolina Country Homes in Lancaster, South Carolina, which is where we are today, checking out all these beautiful homes. So let me turn you around and I will show you this one. Here we go. This is a three bedroom, two bath, 1,789 square foot home. And this is built to age in place with you. So as you get older and you start having mobility issues, or if you currently have mobility issues and just need something that can accommodate you, this home's got it. And like I said, it even has an elevator to help you get upstairs if you needed to. So I know as folks get older, they say that they don't want the hassle of two stories just because the knees, but what if you didn't have to worry about your knees? What if it was just as easy as climbing in a box and hitting a button and zooming on upstairs? I think that'd be pretty cool. This is one of your back doors and it comes out of your laundry room. Coming around the back of the home, I can see a porch right here, right behind your sliding glass door, which is situated right behind your dining room table. As always, that's very, very nice. I don't know what's happening with the, with the camera today, guys. I have to upgrade a little bit. I keep, keep making some swaps and it keeps doing this little jitterbug thing. I'm not quite happy with it. Let's see if we can get through this one and, and see how it comes out. Uh, I don't know. I'm questioning it. But anyway, hey, uh, welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome back to the channel if you've been here before. I really appreciate y'all coming and spending a little bit of time with me. Checking out some of these beautiful homes. If you have noticed, if you, if, if you are around a lot, we started moving to every other day. So we are out here grinding. Finding homes across the U.S and bringing them right to your TV. You know, I have to say, I am so grateful and so thankful to be able to do this, and even more so just to have you guys here hanging out with me when I do it. You see, come on now, phone, act right. Get yourself right. And in we shall go. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's warming up on me today. All right. Go ahead and turn you around. When you first come into the home, this is your entrance. You got a little mini wall over here, kind of dividing the space. And then you have access to your upstairs, which we will get to in just a minute. And then as you take a look around the room, you can see that there is crown molding throughout the home. And then you do have, of course, your ceiling registers as well. All right, so the first thing, guys, we're gonna check out to the living room and look at that big old electric fireplace. Now, I know there's so many different types of fireplaces. This one, it's pretty neat. It almost, it's really cool. It looks like a, <laughs> a fish tank almost, you know what I mean? And then you have this Huge cutout for your TV. And then looking out your windows. And then as far as the flooring, you do have vinyl plank flooring. And if you didn't check out uh, the first video that we did while we were here, I'll make sure to put the link up top right now for you so you can check that out. But at the end of that one, they go, we go over all the different types of um, laminates and vinyls and finishes and tiles and just all the different things uh, that you can check out and have put in these homes. So for here on this island, got your microwave. Ooh, another tray microwave. Oops. <laughs> Automatic. Yeah. See, this that's why I love touring these homes, just because you never know what you're gonna get. You got these little slide outs in here. 
soft close. The doors are soft, the cabinet doors are soft close. And then in here you have a, a matching table. This looks like it's a removable table, but you could probably put some chairs on either side and this could be like your little breakfast nook. And you have some cute little pendant lights. And the shelves up top, you got plenty of space all around the top of the cabinets to put stuff. And then again, you got your can lighting in here. I'm gonna try to avoid going through all of them, y'all. I can't make any promises. We're not gonna, I'll leave those for you. <laughs> Big old Whirlpool refrigerator. Oh my goodness. You got a little pantry. Oh, oh, surprise, surprise. I guess a little pantry. There, there is a place I'll show you over here in just a minute too. Um, that does also have a place that you can put a pantry. It's a couple different options. Uh, so that's pretty neat. And then here, then we went with the backsplash just behind the stove top. And then the rest is the laminate right behind the, the sink and the counter. <laughs> and then your dishwasher. And this one's fancy. It's got all of the stuff on top. And then another little pantry area. And I tell you what, my phone is, it's giving me some issues. I don't know what's happening. Need to, need to upgrade. All right, coming into your utility room, you have washer dryer hookups. Then you have your electric panel, a window, and then the back door, which I guess if you wanted a garage or something attached to this home, this would be like your garage access. Um, which would be a, a cool addition to this home. And then coming over into the dining room. Beautiful table, looking out that big old sliding glass door. And then again, just the crown molding throughout this home all the way. They did a really good job with it. Now, this is where I was talking about, this can be a closet or a pantry, depending on what you want. And then it sits right up underneath of your stairwell, going upstairs. Coming into your second bathroom, you have the shower tub combo, a window, Your toilet. The one room I forgot to turn the lights on, but it's bright enough in here. Yeah, all right, do y'all wanna see this? I feel like y'all are gonna see this and then y'all are gonna leave me. <laughs> y'all don't wanna hang out with me anymore. Oh my goodness. I don't wanna to fall to the ground. Got your one and two. Capacity. A thousand pounds. And it's got this, I don't want to, y'all, I'm going to get trapped in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my goodness. How cool is that? Yeah. All right, and then coming into the back bedrooms. Really good size. And your closet. And then into the second back bedroom. And in here you can see a whole bunch of different other options. 
that you can have done up in this home. And as I'm, I'm panning through them all, feel free to pause it if you see something that you like. Ooh, yeah, let's add that to it. I think that would look good. Other than that, I'm just gonna kinda keep it moving for you so you can see the rest of the house. And then into the closet. And then that looks like your water heater access. Oh no, just kidding. That would be access to the backside of your elevator. And then in the hallway, you have a linen closet. And across the way we go into your master bedroom. Beautiful and big. Inhale, exhale. Man, if you're having a bad day, just take a second. Watch some more of my videos. <laughs> and just relax. It's not that bad. It is a... Uh, it is nice sometimes just to find something that you can absolutely get lost in. You know what I mean? I think everybody, no matter who you are, uh, we're always going through things. And we just get so caught up in it, always thinking the worst is gonna happen. I tell you what, I've been through some uncomfortable situations and I always go to that just the world is ending feeling. And when I come through the other side, I look back at it. And while it did suck, it was not any fun. It wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Anyway, so I hope you guys are, just remember that if you are going through some rough times, just take a breath. You'll get through it, it'll be all right, I promise. All righty. Here you go, master bathroom. So you have vanity on either side. A whole bunch of drawers in here. They are soft close as well. This side has some linen cabinets. The shower, there is light in here. I kept trying to, to hit it, but oh well. You got the removable shower head, tile surround, cool little rocks. I, I don't know if y'all saw that uh, in that back bedroom while we were looking at it, but you can do different styles of floor. Huge, huge space. It's like a grotto. I feel like it's not like the wraparound one that I showed in one of my videos, but oh, skirt. All right, don't go anywhere. We gotta go upstairs. Remember, that elevator goes somewhere. We gotta go check out the top. See what, uh, see what all is happening up yonder. But we got somebody coming in, so we'll race up there real quick. All right, coming upstairs. Humongous space. You got a dormer over here. This is my favorite part, just seeing what all everybody comes up with, what they would do up here. Would you put some more rooms up here? Would this be like your activity center? What are you gonna be doing? All right, here is, man, I was hoping to see the rest of the shaft up here, but it is for demonstration purposes only. This is where it would come out at. And then, boom. Oh well. I guess they don't want nobody jumping on top of it. Another dormer here. And a window. All right, I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. 
And uh, if you're looking for ways to help support the channel, you can always go on over and pick yourself up some Tour Crew merch. And if you're not a Tour Crew member already, definitely do that. You can click the little join button right next to the subscribe button and get access to a whole bunch of cool different features such as behind the scenes, floor plans, upgrade sheets, and man, you know, you get a cool little face that grows over time. Every month that you remember, you get a little extra beard going on. So that's pretty cool too. Anyway, guys, hey, the price is gonna be popping up right here. So remember that this price can vary depending on so many different things, especially like where you're gonna put it, how much work needs to be done to your land in order to get it ready, any fees that are associated with the move or taxes in your county, and just the list goes on. So only use this number to get you started and nothing else. It can always change by the time you show up to look for your own home. As always, my name's Timothy. I appreciated having you here and I'll see you in the next one.